Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. All right, y'all see what we got going on here today. I know a lot of y'all heard the news yesterday about Black Youngster's little brother. He got lit up at the gas station. Somebody caught him slipping. You got some folks saying it's for the whole Young Dolph setup at Makita's. Because a lot of folks from Memphis, they know that Black Youngster, he had issues with Young Dolph. And not really personally, but all because of Yo Gotti. See, a lot of folks already know that Black Youngster, he picked up the beef for Yo Gotti to go at Young Dolph. So dealing with that, once Young Dolph gets sent up at the cookie shop, a lot of folks start going in on Yo Gotti, his brother Big Juke, and they guard dog Black Youngster. And knowing that these three was behind taking out Young Dolph was the reason why they went for Black Youngster's little brother. Remember, the plan was to come into the rap game to change your family life for the better, not get them taken out. This is all a domino effect. All started when Young Dolph got sent up at Makita's. See, it's just messed up because I don't know if y'all know, but this is like Black Youngster's third brother who got sent up. I'ma be honest with y'all. I really only know about the last two. But you got some folks in Memphis saying that Black Youngsters older brother got sent up some years back. But like I just told y'all, I'm not too familiar with that story. But again, this one hits home because like I stated before, this was Black Youngsters younger brother. And dealing with that, you got some folks saying that maybe Black Youngster should have got his younger brother out of Memphis. Especially if Black Youngster continued to go at Young Dolph even after Young Dolph's untimely demise. And even based on that, you got a lot of folks in Memphis saying that's the reason why they went at Black Youngster's brother. Because he continued to dish Young Dolph even after Young Dolph got sent up. Y'all know the type of bogus activity that Black Youngster was doing to go at Young Dolph and the different paper route artists. Like for example, when Black Youngster first signed Big J90, what did he say? Man, say FPRE and Young Dolph. And that's exactly what Big J90 did. And now we see that Big J90, he's no longer a part of Black Youngster's heavy camp. Now Big J90, he can see for himself. By listening to Black Youngster and going at Young Dolph, he tarnished his own rap career. Now don't too many folks in Memphis want to mess with Big J90. Because he's seen for himself that Black Youngster was only using him to go at Young Dolph and the different paper rock artists. And that's the same with Lil Migo. I told y'all, Lil Migo, he put his foot in his own mouth once he stated he had lawyer fees and bond money for his cousin Cornelius Smith that's a suspect tied in with this whole Young Dolph setup. Because if y'all don't know the story, that's what Yo Gotti brother Big Jook and Black Youngster was doing even before Young Dolph got sent up. They would pay the different Chula affiliates to rob the paper art artists for their chains. So that should let y'all know all this back and forth between PRE and CMG was mostly coming from Black Youngster. And that trickled down to the cats that's affiliated with Chula and Double R. Because as we all know, most of the cats that's affiliated with Double R, they rolling with PRE. Then on the flip side, the guys that's affiliated with Chula, they mess with Yo Gotti CMG. And that's the reason why the folks in Memphis who got love for both CMG and PRE, they didn't want to see the back and forth between both sides go down like this. Because they knew nothing beneficial was going to come from this. Especially when you have two of the most popular rap labels in Memphis having some type of discontent towards one another. And that's when you know it's going all wrong. But when you take out somebody like Young Dolph, you should already know that it's going to come to this. You just can't take out the person that put a lot of people in position to take care of themselves and their family. And you think it ain't going to be no type of get back for this? That's what these guys been on. They just been sit back waiting for the right time. That's why you got some folks saying maybe Black Youngster should have moved his younger brother out of Memphis. Especially since his other brother got sent up right after Young Dolph whole Honey Shell situation in Charlotte, North Carolina. Right there, that should have let Black Youngster know how real it is when you go at somebody like Young Dolph. Similar to how you got some folks saying... Young Dolph should have knew what was coming his way, especially since Young Dolph rapped about piping down Yo Gotti BM. And it's true that Young Dolph definitely did pipe down Yo Gotti BM. That would definitely be a reason why somebody would want to take you out. But going back to Black Youngster, I've been stating this from the beginning. Maybe he should have never got himself involved in the beef between Yo Gotti and Young Dolph. 
He should have stayed in his own lane doing his own thing. But we already know that's not Black Youngster. He had to show his loyalty towards Yo Gotti by dissing Young Dolph and the Paper Route artists. But like I stated, it continued to go overboard once Black Youngster continued to diss Young Dolph after Young Dolph's untimely demise. So with that, let's pay our respects to the King of Memphis and say rest in peace to Young Dolph, condolences to his family, and much love to all my folks in Dolph land. Again, shout out to all my folks in Dolph land. I know y'all missing a real one out there. Because Young Dolph, he looked out for the youth. Because Young Dolph, he motivated the youth to stay out the streets and do something more productive with themselves. So trust me, the back and forth between PRE and CMG that trickled down to the youngsters, this is something that Young Dolph would not approve of. And with that, if he was still here, he would stop dissing Yo Gotti if he knew the results ended up in the youngsters' untimely demise. And the reason why, because Young Dolph, he was all about looking out for the youth. That's the reason why all the paper route artists are younger than Flipper. Because Young Dolph, he knew that generational wealth starts with the youth. So that's what Young Dolph would invest into, the youth. And while y'all at it, go ahead and drop those Dolphs in the comments and show your love and support for Paper Route Frank. And at the same time, man, let's show our love and say rest in peace to Black Youngster's little brother. Again, it was messed up the way that little folks went out. All because of the moves from his older brother, Black Youngster. And Black Youngster, he should feel some type of way. Because of him, this is his second brother that got sent up in just three years. That's why I stated from the beginning, Black Youngster, he's definitely on some get back activity. But at the same time, this is all on him. Because again, he should have been more focused on looking out for his family. Not going at Young Dolph and a paper route artist. Because you just can't go on disrespecting somebody like Young Dolph and expect for nobody not to do something about it. And like I said, the way that these folks went on about it, they wanted Black Youngster to feel the same way that they felt when he assisted in taking out Young Dolph and also went on to disrespect Young Dolph by releasing bodily fluids on Young Dolph's tombstone. Again, we already know about the whole Honey Shell situation where Black Youngster and a couple CMG affiliates was arrested for being in the same city as Young Dolph when the whole Honey Shell situation went down. And we can't forget the time where Black Youngster pulled up to Castay looking for Young Dolph, him and like five or six other bloods with the burners out. So again, from there, Black Youngster, he was on a lot of people's list, especially those who are affiliated with Paper Route. But in all, we don't want the back and forth between PRE and CMG to come down to this. Even though some of this is expected, because once you remove somebody like Young Dolph, you will have folks on some get back. I don't know how long this back and forth gonna last, but this is something that don't need to go any further. But at the same time, us black men, we have to do better by one another, especially if we supposed to be the ones protecting our communities. We can't protect our communities by taking out the youth. That's why I always say, us as men, we have to set a better example. If not, we can't get mad at the youth for what they do or not continue to do. Because I don't think y'all understand, whatever the adults put down, the youth, they will pick it up. No matter if it's positive or negative. That's why we have to be aware of the energy that we put out there. We so quick to divide, but never have the care to unify. Which is resulting in our young ones losing their lives. So with that, always be aware and always stay prepared. But hey, we get more in store. It's always. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH. Network.